the boy. Come on. This is still the mule with no name. One of the things I find quite often with animals that I look after, or that are my companions, is they, they name themselves after you get to know them. Mule with no name here, he's just known as Muley for now. Um, I don't think we know each other well enough. He hasn't told me his name. I've had lots of interesting suggestions from lots of people, which is wonderful, but uh, nothing's quite felt right for him. And his personality is changing as he gets to know me and I'm learning what to do with a mule because remember, this is my first and only mule training I've ever done. So I actually am a novice in this. And uh, so far, seems to be going quite well. It's more about having a discussion with a mule than uh, telling him what to do, like you would do with a young horse perhaps, train the horse to do what you want it to do and it's okay with it. With him, it's all about a negotiation. And I still don't have a mule saddle, although I've got one on order, but the mule saddle hasn't turned up uh, because they're extremely rare in the UK. And of course, a lot of the talks I do are from the perspective of England, medieval England. There would have been thousands upon thousands of mules used for pack or for carrying bishops or whatever it might be in medieval England that just aren't, I can't imagine there's more than a few thousand in the whole of England at the moment. I just literally don't know of any other mules. Uh, which is why it's so exciting, because it's a different type of creature that was hugely important in the medieval period. Now, one of the things that we've been working on is the right kind of bit for him. And this one he seems to be a bit more comfortable with. Still haven't quite got it right, but a lot of the time he's now relaxing, relaxing his jaw and allowing me to, uh, uh, allowing me to control him gently. Still not there yet. He's still mouthing it a little bit, so we've got to try lots of variations. I can't, unfortunately, use anything on his nose. He absolutely hates anything tying his nose down. And you probably can't see it on camera, but when I feel the bumps on his nose here, he's got quite a lot of scarring and uh, scar tissue. So I imagine that at uh, some stage in his life, before I had him, he's... Uh, He's had some things on his nose that haven't really worked very well for him, uh, which is a shame, but he's in a good home now and uh, we're having some adventures already. He's quite difficult to get on at the moment, and, uh, but he is learning about manoeuvring and uh, I'm going to try him with some weapons today and see how he gets on. Come on then, Ooh, let's get on you. Good boy. You'll notice that I'm riding with very loose reins and I'm riding with one hand. I am also learning to ride him with both reins, but I'm also trying to teach him to neck rein, which means using the outside rein to a certain extent to try <laughs> to turn him <laughs> just when I was trying to do it. Come on, you. You're doing it really well. Good boy. He does have, good boy, come on. He does have this interesting habit of chucking his head in the air uh, and I really don't uh, I really don't want to try and stop him doing that for the moment I certainly don't want to punish him for doing it it's just his neck he's exercising his head comes right up and uh, he flings his head around he does it in the stable a lot especially when he's excited about food so it might be an excitement response good boy or it could be a form of naughtiness or whatever it might be but you could see He's, generally speaking, listening to me a little bit. Walk on. Um, and he's much more comfortable. Good boy. Come. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good boy. A bit more comfortable anyway with turning. He's not perfect yet by a long way, but he's coming along. But I'm using very, very little uh, pressure on the reins. Um, whoa, whoa. He's not so good at stopping either. Good boy. And he's a little bit. Come on. Come on, you. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. He's not so good at stopping uh, when I tell him to. Uh, and he is not 
Well, he's not particularly focused on going where I tell him to. He, he listens to what I'm saying, thinks about it, and then decides to turn, which means there's a bit of a delayed reaction. And whoa, 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 whoa. I'm also trying, whoa, 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 stand. I'm trying very much to use the minimal contact I can on his mouth and use my weight a lot more. He's, uh, he does have some very interesting habits. I am getting used to how he works and he is going past targets now. So if I want to go past this saddle, I'm using my weight a little bit, I can get close enough to it. But I'm not doing anything at speed because I just don't have the right saddle. So everything I'm doing, because this is a horse saddle, although it is padded slightly differently, it's designed to go a little bit better. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A little bit better on a mule's back, but it's still got a lot more rock in it, which is not what you want for a mule saddle. Uh, but I'm gonna try and do some work on weapons now and going past things at a little bit of speed. Because the saddle isn't right yet, and because I'm not particularly confident with what I'm doing on him, I haven't been doing anything outside a trot, anything faster than a trot. Looking forward to doing that one day. But at the moment, we're just concentrating on walking and trotting past things. And he's very good at that. He's also learning what I want to do. So I'm pretty sure he now knows that I want to pick up a, a weapon. And now he actually knows what I want, which is interesting. Same with horses, horses learn that as well. But he uh, in particular has realized that it's going to be hopefully a bit of fun. So Lance, strike the target, move on. Good boy, and round this way. Good boy, good boy, come on. Good boy, good boy. Trusty helmet, hitting it quite hard because I want him to experience that. And also the target is moving as well because that's all part of the training. You notice there's almost no contact on the reins with his mouth. Leaning forwards, good boy. Good boy. Come on then, round you come. Good lad. Good boy. Good boy. And round we go again, round we go. Good boy. Yeah, he's a good war mule. He's coming along quite nicely. One of the tricks that I've noticed him do, when I'm putting the saddle on, he puffs himself out so that when I tighten the girth up to the right kind of tightness to make sure that the saddle will stay on, uh, when I actually get on, he uh, relaxes and uh, isn't puffed out anymore and the girth is completely loose. It was quite a shock the first time I rode him. Uh, the girth needed to go up about four holes on the girth straps, which if anybody knows, basically has gone from completely loose to the right uh, tightness. So that's about five, six inches. He doesn't actually mind the girth being tighter though. He's just, uh, I think it's just a little habit he's got. But uh, before I go faster, Ooh. I will do my girth up a little. It's very loose still. And uh, we'll go at slightly faster speed now. Good boy. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. He's uh, naturally quite brave. That is something that would have scared an ordinary horse, usually. Well, not all of them, but quite a lot of them. And that noise as well is uh, usually quite shocking for a horse, but he's taking it in his stride. It's as if he's not bothered by any of this, which is a really good indicator. Just hit this, hit this at some speed, which is a really good indicator. Once I've got the right kind of kit, I think there's a fair chance he's going to be quite useful uh, in mock combat. Quite frankly, he is coming along incredibly well. He isn't phased by things making a noise. Good boy. 
we've got to work a little bit on direction control, we've got to work on halting, and we've got to obviously get up to a canter, and this is something that we're going to have to uh, work on a little bit. But basically, he has got the spirit and attitude that would enable him to fight in combat, and hopefully for us, we will be doing some mock combat on him one day. I've got to try him in armour, obviously, and I've got to see how he goes against uh, other horses. But I have high hopes, and it is really utterly fun to be learning to cooperate. I think that's the best way to put it. Learning to cooperate with a new kind of creature in my life. So, mule with no name. We'll work out what to call you soon. And... Uh, We'll keep doing the training. Good boy. Good lad. He's doing ever so well. Good boy.